It's, uh, it's terrific to be here. Tough year, tough year for relationships. I have a girlfriend. Um, she doesn't respect me. Um, the other day we were having sex and she called me champ. <laughs> yeah, and I wasn't in the middle. It wasn't like, oh, you're a champion or you're the goat of sex. It was more like, hey, little buddy. <laughs> hey, you doing down there, champ? You having fun? You got a big grin on your face. Oh, hey, keep this up. I'll take you to McDonald's after this. It's been a tough year. I remember 2020 as uh, the year I started drinking alone. Um, I did a lot. Did anyone drink alone in 2020? <laughs> all right, all the cool people, that's what I want to hear. People say you shouldn't drink alone, and they might be correct, because it does get you into a bit of trouble. This is the worst thing that happened to me, right, drinking alone. January 2020, start of 2020, I was at home, I was just drinking alone, I was drinking glass of wine after glass of wine, and I was watching the 24-hour news. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but January 2020, the entire east coast of the country was on fire, right? Worst bushfires in Australia's history, right? And I'm just there, watching these scenes on the 24-hour news, just drinking glass of wine after glass of wine, and I got so drunk alone that night, that I woke up in the morning to an email telling me I had volunteered to become a firefighter. <laughs> yeah, that's when you're like, I reckon I could go to a meeting, maybe. <laughs> I think I qualify now. Think about that imagery, just me at home, just drinking wine, watching these firefighters on the TV, fighting back the tears, being like, I'm coming, boys! <laughs> we are one. Just like lighting candles in my apartment and then pouring them out with a 600 mil Mount Franklin, being like, <laughs> I could do it actually, I could. I'm not like ScoMo, I could hold the hose, get me in there, you know? <laughs> it's a tough year. I'm not very good at communicating, as that kind of uh, explained, right? I'm not, it doesn't matter what the situation is, I'm not very good on the spot of just like thinking of cool things to say. This happened to me just before lockdown, right? I was on a plane, I was flying Sydney to Melbourne, and I was sitting in seat 8B, right? Guess who comes and sits next to me in seat 8C, right? My ex-girlfriend. I know. <laughs> Why do bad things happen to good people? <laughs> I'm a volunteer firefighter, for God's sake. <laughs> Should have been at the front of the plane. But I was sitting there, sitting in AB, ex-girlfriend turned up, she didn't know I was gonna be on the plane, I didn't know she was gonna be on the plane, and this is what I came up with on the spot. I was pretty proud of this, this is what I said, just spur of the moment, it's pretty good, I think you'll be impressed. I saw her, crowded plane, I just went, no! <laughs> there you go, I fucking know her, that's not bad, is it? You can use that if you want, next time you're in a tricky situation. But we couldn't go anywhere, right? We were just stuck, so I just sit next to an ex-girlfriend on a plane flight, right, and here's a tip. I like to give tips in all my comedy sets, right? This is a tip, right? If you're a nervous flyer and you struggle with turbulence on planes, try and sit next to your ex-girlfriend on the plane. That's the tip, pretty niche tip, but it's a good one. Because let me tell you, you don't really worry about the turbulence. Like at all, you know? In fact, you hit a bit and everyone else on the plane is like, oh, oh, oh. bit bumpy, geez. And you're sitting there a bit more like actually, I think we should drive this thing into the ground. <laughs> We've got some problems in the sky right now. I'm gonna take my chances down there, thank you very much. And it ruined my flight, ruined it completely. Like I had these new noise cancelling headphones and I was so excited to use them, but you know what they don't cancel out? Memories. Like, <laughs> like in fact they lock them in. You start remembering all this old shit you forgot about. You're like, how does Bose do it? At one point, my ex-girlfriend, she got up to go to the bathroom and she was like, oh, sorry, can I just squeeze through? And I was like, oh, cool, you learned to apologise. Awesome. <laughs> Guys, my name's Sam Tom. Thank you.